That's gonna find that heart. All of a sudden, they're gonna get that dog mentality. All of a sudden, they're gonna get a killer instinct. They just all of a sudden gonna pull this 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 this, this uh, move like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. You think all of a sudden that's gonna happen? No, the fuck is not in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think what the cast should do is just it, you know put these fans out of misery. misery. I, I'm cool with it. I, I got a championship. I'm good with it. I, I said it then. Hey, y'all better cherish this championship because y'all might not. We might not ever get another one after this. We made history off this one too, man. Come on, cherish it. We came back from a three-one deficit. We the only team to ever come back from a three-one deficit. We always gonna be at, uh, the answer. We gonna always be the answer to a trivia question. Always gonna be the answer to a trivia question because of what that 2016 Cavs did with LeBron James leading what Kyrie Irving. Tristan Thompson, Richard Jefferson, um, Channing Fry, Matthew Delavoy, Tyrone Lewis, the head coach. Um, gosh, who else? Um, um, Timothy Moscow, uh, um, Amon Shunk. I mean, come on, man. They always going to be an answer to a trivia question. In 2016, which team won an NBA championship coming back from a 3-1 deficit? The Cavs. It's always going to be an answer to a trivia question. So, no, this particular team coming back from a 3-1 deficit, no, I do not see that happen. I just think what the Cavs should do, just go ahead, look, just go pack your bags and go home. Y'all want to play anyway. That's what y'all been showing for four games. Y'all don't want to play. Y'all ready to go home anyway. You've been showing it. That's how y'all playing. Y'all playing like y'all just happy y'all made the playoffs. Y'all just going through the motions. Y'all keep saying, oh, we're young, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. That's how y'all playing. That's exactly how y'all playing. Y'all playing except with the exception of Darius Garland. I'm not going to put Darius Garland on this. I'm giving Darius Garland a slight pass. Maybe you can give Donovan Mitchell a slight little pass. But game four, he ain't getting no pass. This is on Donovan Mitchell why they lost game four. You are a star player. You have experience in the playoffs. You know what it's like. You know... Playoff basketball is a different monster from regular season basketball. No, this is on you, bro. You should have been prepared to play game four, and you wasn't. For, for whatever reason why you didn't, you wasn't prepared, that is on you, Donovan Mitchell. So, yeah, you're the main reason, in my opinion, why they lost game four. So, again, y'all, no, I don't feel – just pack your bags. Like I said, I don't feel they're going to come back with 3-1 deficits. I apologize because I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You know, as far as in, you know, trying to put out the proper content, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I apologize for that, too. But, no, I don't think the Cavs will come back from a 3 one deficit. In my opinion, I think the Cavs will just go on ahead, pack their bags, and go home. Just get off the court. Go home. And, hey, let's reevaluate the team. I hope Kobe Altman, you know, makes the proper. I expect him to make the proper adjustment in the offseason. But just pack your bags. Put the, you know, save the fans. The, the uh you know the hope of y'all winning this you know why so y- y'all can put it you know you can put us through some more misery because all you're gonna do is if you win game five you're gonna go to New York and get your butt kicked I see that I see I tell you what I I, I would like for the Knicks to just win it, win the next game in Cleveland I like for the Knicks to just go on ahead you know in the cast season because they want it to be ended anyway they're begging for the Knicks to do it so I, I want the Knicks to just go ahead in the cast season so we, we don't have to keep talking about it, talking about something that's obvious. I'm tired of talking about it. The only reason I did a segment on it today because I just wanted to get my opinion why I think the Cavs are soft. That's why I'm doing the segment. I think that's the problem. They're soft, and I think that they're making it obvious to the fans and some of these animals out here that they are soft. They're telling you who they are. That's just my opinion. The Cavs are telling you who they are. No, pack your bags, just go home. Go home, take y'all's ball, and go home. Y'all are soft. Y'all don't, you're not, you don't want it. You don't want it bad enough. You don't want it. The Knicks want it more than you. So go ahead, pack your bags. I don't even care if you do win. Like I said, I, if, if the Knicks don't win in the fight, they win in six, in my opinion. The, the Knicks will end up winning the series four games or two. I, you, I, I actually flipped it because... I mean, flip it because I thought the Cavs were going to win 4-2. So, I, okay, I was clearly wrong about that. So, my prediction now is the Knicks are going to win it four games or two. 
if they if if the, if the Cavs win Game Five, okay, look for the Knicks to win in New York, Madison Square Garden, Mecca Basketball, and they'll win the series four games to two, the New York Knicks. But yeah, again, do I think the New York Knicks are a good basketball team? Yeah, they're good, but they're not good enough to win no championships. So, hey, they'll be going home in the second round too. So don't you New York fans don't get your hopes up. Don't think the Knicks are going to win this year's championship. It's not happening. They don't. They're not good enough to do that. They're only doing. They're only good enough to beat the Cavs. They're only good enough to make put this. You know, put put y'all on a mindset with the Knicks are good enough to win a championship. They're only showing out against the Cavs because the Cavs are soft. The um, JB Bickerstaff being the head coach of that coaching staff, they're not making the proper adjustments. They're not preparing their team to you know to even like have a chance of winning the game. Like I said, I don't know what kind of motivational tactic they're using, but I'll tell you what. For me, they're not using any motivational tactic, in my opinion. So, hey, if J.B. Bickerstack gets fired in the regular season, I mean, I'm sorry, all season, I, hey, I don't know. I've been hearing rumors. Rumors, it might happen. I've been hearing rumors. They're talking about hiring Nick Nurse now. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen all season with J.B. Bickerstack and that coaching staff. But, just go home. Just go home, Cleveland. Pack it up. Uh, go fishing. Do whatever. I, 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 I don't, like I said, hey, I'm satisfied. We won a championship in 2016. Thanks to LeBron James for the kindness of his heart coming back to Cleveland and doing the right thing for the city of Cleveland Akron. If it wasn't for LeBron James, we wouldn't be champions, period. And y'all need to appreciate that, by the way. LeBron James needs to get... Like, literally a statue in Cleveland somewhere. Y'all need to think about building that man a statue just like they got a statue down there in Chicago for Michael Jordan. LeBron James needs a statue in Cleveland because if it wasn't for him, we would have never won a championship. Period. Period. We would not have won one. Yeah, Kyrie Irving and, and um, Richard Jefferson, Channing Fry, Tristan Thompson, uh, Yvonne Shump, Timothy Mosgall, Matthew Dillavoy, they get the credit. They get all the credit, too. Without Kyrie Irving hitting that big shot over Stephen Curry. No, it was a three-point shot, right? No, we, we would have um, not won, them champion, won that championship without Kyrie Irving in the rest of the game. Kevin Love playing great de defense on Stephen Curry. My fault, I forgot about Kevin Love. Uh -oh, Kevin Love, too, was a part of that championship. He's the main reason why we won, too. Playing great defense on Stephen Curry towards the end of that game. So, I mean, come, come on, man. Come on, come on. No, no. LeBron James deserves a statue, and I think Cleveland really needs to start thinking about building that man one. And I think they need to appreciate LeBron James more, especially, you know, watching this series and realizing finally that, oh, the Cavs is not the team we thought they were. Actually, yeah, they're not. Actually, they are a soft team. And did I see that coming? No, I didn't see it coming, but it is what it is. I saw it, you know, somewhat in the first game. The second game, no, but then the third game, that's when I finally saw the, saw the casual saw. I saw, and then four just, you know, it just validated my reasons why I think they're soft. That's all it did. Game four just validated my reason why I think they're soft, why I think they're getting punched in their mouth, getting out physical. All the Knicks is doing is out hustling. That's it. The, 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 uh, 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 Tom Thibodeau is clearly out coaching J.B. Bickerstaff. That's obvious. No need to talk about that. But... Yeah, just pack your bags, go home, you know, save, save, save the fans the heartbreak. Save, save the fans the frustration. I think if the Cavs lose game five or whatever, they lose it, what? They're losing, they're losing five games or six. I think, yeah, once this series is over and the Cavs go home, I think the frustration, the heartbreak, I think all that will be alleviated. You know, it'll be alleviated rather soon if that makes sense. Because, again, what was the cast ceiling this year anyway? Championship? Fuck no. No, their ceiling was the second round, just like the Knicks is going to the second round. Th that was both their team's projection, in my opinion. Second round, and then you're going home. So, no, no. Am I disappointed? I'm only disappointed in their play. I thought the Cavs would come out and at least make it competitive, make this series competitive. But, no, they, they're too soft to make it competitive. Like I said, the coach, the coach is not motivating them. He, he's just, I guess he's going through the motions too. So, yeah, I, that's the only thing I'm disappointed about. But I appreciate the views. Um, if you like, 
hit that like button if you want to subscribe hit that subscription button too but again i appreciate the views more y'all take care y'all stay blessed out there be safe facts with the ghosts dj lottie dotty one love later